It's been a long journey, but Aya Media Elijah has finally found home. Or at least, for now, a place to rest his head. Because what he really dreamed of is out of reach. I inquired about nothing less than 20 properties, 20 houses. And some I get response, some I don't. And some when we're in talks, they just say they've given a place to someone else. Or once they discover that I'm not in the province yet, they just tell me, we're well, sorry, we can't give it to you. The market heated up. And Ayomidi faced stiff competition this summer when looking for a place to stay. I was looking into getting an apartment, maybe a studio flat or something, and they were asking for references. How am I supposed to get reference when I'm just new in Canada? So for now, he's here using this shared house to build some rental history. I did not get any audience to even talk. The minute that I say I'm new in the province, I can't give reference. They're like, OK, I'm sorry, we can't give it out to you. But even with a reference and local support, some are having a tough time. We never have that as a like a trouble or a problem. It was so, something really easy to, to solve. But now it was quite different. Uh, I arrived um, on August uh, 18, and I still do not have a house. Looking for a space that suits a young family of three, so far, nothing permanent. I just found a place that is Airbnb, but the point is that uh, do not have, for example, laundry. is a place just to stay for one weekend, not to live with a, a kid. And uh, I do not have a space, for example, to study at home. She's searching relentlessly, but so far, no return calls. We need to fill a form and people will contact us in case that we fit with that position. But we do not fit. We are a newcomer. I think that uh, is a lot of reasons. Um, I am a people of color and it's not that. I am just an, a student and um, I do not have like a professional background from here. This becomes an issue of... This affordable housing advocate and says renters were feeling the pressure before the pandemic and now with higher interest rates, fewer rental properties and an uptick in demand, it's only gotten worse. We see, for example, in-person classes have returned at MUN, um, and there's a variety of other factors that are driving changes in the rental market, but anecdotally we're hearing that things are really extremely challenging for renter households in Newfoundland and Labrador at this point, in the St. John's area especially. And with winter coming, this uncertainty is weighing heavy on a newcomer's shoulders. Emotionally is hard as well, because uh, you cannot focus on your job or studies because you are all the time thinking, oh, OK, I need to find a place to, to live, to start. Gary Perry, CBC News, St. John's.